to daily time frames and just being able to trade on a longer term as opposed to that intraday scalping stuff that I'm pretty sure many of you now that life is established and it's going don't have the time for right a lot of you don't have the time to catch those intraday movements and it's tough you know what i mean so first off the mindfulness stuff i'd hope that you guys are all doing some form of mindfulness practice and i'm not just talking talking about it i'm actually talking about incorporating it and practicing it because it's one thing saying it and it's another thing doing it I myself get my find myself in these realms where I'll say I'm <clears throat> attempting to do something and my actions are speaking differently. So I always got to remind myself that, Andrew, if you take 15, 20, 30 minutes out of the day to just sit there and just really think about anything and everything that you're doing at that moment. Right. It's being trust me, it's a different state of mind. Especially when you live in a realm where, or in a state where you're always on the go, okay? So I had two things I wanted to bring up in the mindfulness book that I read. I'm going to start the screen record as usual, because I like to share it with you guys as I'm doing it. I think it's very interactive. <coughs> okay, book just, <coughs> forgive me, just, uh, just, Kobo keeps crashing on the iPad for some reason. Okay. Excuse me, my throat is hurting me. Perception. Okay. This is a trader's ability to notice what is happening around him from an awareness of price movement on screens, observing chart patterns, taking in and absorbing news flow from screens and squawk systems. Okay. And the sentence finishes to say, as well as sensing changes in behavior, mood, and on the trading floor. You guys are not on the trading floor. <clears throat> this is the first step to a three-step stage in the mindfulness that makes up what goes into a trade, all right? The first one that I just explained is your perception. The second one on here is comprehension. The third one is the projection, all right? I'm going to go through every single one of them and you're going to see how each one relates to each stage of your trading process. The comprehension. The next stage in situational awareness is where traders make sense of what they're observing, okay? Or make sense of their observations. Creating a picture of the markets through the process of pattern recognition. Listen to what I just said. Creating a picture <coughs> of the markets through process of pattern recognition. I speak about this all the time. We're watching history in the market, right? No patterns for us to go off of. So already there's a process that's missing, right? We're, our perception of the market at the moment, what we perceive it to be or what we perceive it to be going is completely different when we get to the comprehension stage of this stuff. It's very tough, right? To comprehend what we're seeing, why? Because there is no pattern recognition there, all right? So remember that, the comprehension. You're, you're creating a picture of the markets through the processes of pattern recognition, interpretation, and evaluation. Very big. Interpretation and evaluation. All these things is what we're doing in this market here. Remember this, guys. These play a huge role. These are not charts. This is your mind and your mind itself and your mind at work. Remember I said that. Excuse me for one second. All right. And this is this is your mind. This is how this works. OK, guys. You need to sharpen this part and I continue to stress it. So I hope you guys are watching this video and the one before this. Okay. The projection. All right. The third, the third stage of situational awareness is being able to project what is known about the situation into the future actions. Project what is known about the situation into future actions. Meaning, you know, the market is going to go one way. 
What are you going to do next? What's your future action? Okay. Considering the current situation and making future predictions on what might happen. Considering the current situation and making future predictions on what might happen. Three stage process, perception, comprehension, and projection. All right. This is the process that your mind goes through when it's going through a trade, all right? Understanding this, honing it and sharpening it is what's going to make you better on the charts itself, all right? I love this quote. This is the reason why I shared it with you guys. The second one I wanted to share. I've spoke about this with you guys already and I forgot that I had read this in the book, okay? This one is the third, excuse me, awareness of others, sentiment, and the empathy edge, okay? I'm gonna pause the video for one second because I only got three minutes left on the film and I don't wanna be cut off during this. Two seconds. Okay, ready to go guys, perfect. Now, I'm gonna be giving you guys, uh, pick up where I left off, each a way of focusing on the perception, the comprehension, and the projection stage of your trading. Okay, there's a way that you can sharpen that part of your mind and you're going to continue to see improvements even in your intraday life. My throat's feeling a lot better now, so you're going to hear me rambling a lot faster. <clears throat> Excuse me, so see, as soon as I said that, jinx. Okay, so perception, comprehension, and projection. Awareness of others, sentiment, and the empathy edge. All right. What I said before, why I said I wanted to give myself a bit more time on the camera is because I spoke about this before. And this was something I noticed just from me being in the market and trading. All right. This is what I noticed about once you've done enough chart time, you start to see more than just candlesticks, right? You start to read, you almost start to read the candles as people. It's amazing right? You, there's emotions. There's there's so much going on when things are happening in this market. And as soon as you start to look at the market more as a person or as something on the other side that feels and moves and acts, is the more you'll start to become one with it, okay? And what this quote explains, and it's so crazy that I, I, I read it today, you know what I mean? And it's just, I was speaking about it. So it, it just goes to show that with experience, you'll start to really resonate with some of the stuff that you're reading, all right? So you guys are teaching me. It's amazing, all right? The third dimension of awareness is awareness of others. In trading and investing, this awareness can be translated into an awareness of other market... Am I still screen record? Sorry, guys. I don't know if I'm still screen recording. That would be... Um, I, think two, I am still screen recording. Wow. Okay. Um, yes. This ability is related to empathy. Excuse me, let me go back. The third dimension of awareness is awareness of others. In trading and investing, this awareness can be translated into an awareness of other market participants. Having a feel for the market and being aware of the sentiment. The ability is related to empathy and the theory of mind. The ability of one person to understand the thoughts feelings and behaviors of another and helps traders to make more effective decisions by having a greater awareness of the context of the market as a whole rather than just a single focus on their own trading investing strategy perfect guys like it was literally what I tried to explain to you guys the first time, but very well worded. All right. It's literally like you start to, f you, it's, it's very hard for me to explain. Okay. And I'm trying to put it in the most simple words as I can. And I'm going to read this quote one more time because I loved it so much. You really just start to, it, it's almost like you're trading off intuition after a while. And, Every candle movement, the way I can read the candlesticks now, if I were to say this to you, it would sound like, it would sound probably very cliche. And it's like, yeah, anybody could have said that, but it's almost as, 
there's so much confidence behind what I'm saying and there's so much surety that it's I personally amaze myself when I think about it. Okay. And what this is trying to say is I'm pretty sure this comes with time. I'm coming up on this September is seven years for me now since I've been I, dabbling with this stuff. Okay. So it's, it's been a long time for me. A very long time. So I'm noticing that this quote right here, this is not going to come not even within the next year, I would say. Okay. Maybe consistent, successful training, but this, this is what's going to take you into that realm of where you could start making thousands of dollars. Okay. With the right conditions and the right, like, even, like I said, your, your home life has to be very set up in a way where you can put your time and effort into this, but you can do damage when you start to feel this way about the market. So let's read the quote one more time. The third dimension of awareness is the awareness of others. In trading and investing, this awareness can be translated into an awareness of other market participants. Having a feel for the market and being aware of the sentiment, the ability is related to empathy and theory of mind. The ability of one person to understand the thoughts, feelings, and behaviors of another and helps traders to make more effective decisions by having a greater awareness of the context of the market as a whole, rather than just the focus of their own trading um, or investing strategy. Okay, guys. So remember I said that to you, that that is a very crucial, I think a very critical place that you guys are all going to get to. And it's, it's going to be a good feeling when you guys get there. That idea of you're almost, I like to call it your one with the market, right? You feel what it feels, right? And you, you, you can really, when you, when you start to, when you're aware of the emotion, it's a beautiful thing because you're able to put things in place, knowing yourself to combat any feelings that you're having, right? So it's amazing. I'm going to stop this screen record. It's about like almost 15 minutes. So I'm going to have to edit it out. It's going to be a bit tough, but it's okay. Stop the screen record. Let it save. Now we're going to dive right into the charts. Okay. Let's see how long this screen record is. For this. I'm like keeping you guys on here. You guys could fast forward this a little bit. It's it's an 18 minute screen record. So I'm going to have a bit of a, have a good time with it. Trying to weave out where I want to get it to. But whatever, once I get it edited, I'm getting faster at this stuff. Let's dive right, right into the charts, guys. We're gonna close the camera because we're not gonna have any more of my face.